grass. Beautiful day. Haven't been posting nothing for a while. Been trying to keep warm and stay out of the snow. But, like I told you, back in December when everybody's talking about bragging about how warm it was, I told you it was going to happen. Everything's got to balance out. And look what we got. Yep. And we still got the rest of January and the whole month of February to go, folks. Pull your breeches up, put your big boy pants on, and get ready, because we ain't done with winter yet. Like they always say, the rest of this week is a prime example of Kentucky weather. Just stick around. If you don't like it, about five minutes it's going to change. And about five minutes it's going to change again. And then probably again another five minutes. Kentucky is the only state I've ever lived in in my life, which I haven't lived in Kentucky's the only state I have ever lived in, other than Alabama when I was in the Army. But uh, Kentucky's the only state that I know of that uh, you can have all four seasons in the same day. I don't understand it. And I know I'm not the only one that's noticed it, but have you noticed how the seasons now just seem to run together? Not have very much of a uh, summer, spring, fall, or winter. And everything has moved further up on the scale of things. I remember growing up, winter was the end of October, all November, all December, January, February, and a few times it carried over into March. Now, winter don't start until January. November and December are like fall. So it's all messed up. And once again, I think it's the, 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 not necessarily the Mandela effect that everybody talks about, which fully believe that's a thing because they were talking on YouTube the other day about the, the old fruit of the loom, the label, and I know I'm not the only one. I distinctly remember there was a cornucopia on that label, the, the fruit of the loom, all the fruit land around it. And I distinctly remember uh, the fruit of the loom commercials, the black guy was a bunch of grapes. I remember that. Now they're saying fruit of the loom has, is saying they never had a cornucopia. Like, which is a down and out line. Uh, you know, I, I understand companies change hands, this, that, and other thing, but I mean, at one time, Fruit and Loom underwear had the cornucopia. Like, I know. I, I wore Fruit and Loom whitey tidy as a kid and the t shirts. I know. They were talking about, uh, what was the other one they were talking about? Uh, uh, little Monopoly guy. I remember playing Monopoly when I was a child. That little dude wearing a top hat had a monocle. You'll never convince me otherwise. Uh, and like, like I said, the season's all jacked up, moving further up in the year. Uh, and that, you know, seasons, I don't necessarily think that's the Mandela effect per se. I think that has uh, something to do with when they fired up that large Hadron Collider. I don't remember when they fired it up. It was like April 2000 or something other. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember what country it's in. I know it's not here. America, it's in some European block country, but anyway, they fired that thing up. I still say it screwed up our timeline. I don't, you know, they always say there's, you know, we live in a multiverse. And I know it's something straight out of Marvel Comics, but come on, folks. Too many things have changed and changed subtly, and it's either that the powers that be are trying to rewrite history, which they don't need to. They need to leave it alone. It's history, it's our history, and it's a state of our history. Or, when they fired up that large Hadron Collider, it screwed up that timeline, the current timeline, when they fired it up, and it caused a, a wrinkle, a ripple, a tear, something, in between our timeline and another timeline, maybe, perhaps. And we're in a different timeline now kind of out there but when you think about it and take a look around at things how things have changed and how it's changed so subtly nobody notices it and then when somebody does notice it and you bring it up you're a conspiracy theorist and a lot of stuff that they've been calling and I've been called conspiracy theorist uh, a lot of things that uh, they've called us conspiracy theorists on we have proven what a conspiracy theory 
in some way, somehow, somebody will prove that this Mandela effect effect is not conspiracy theory. It's it's actually happening. Like I said, it's either the powers that be are trying to rewrite or erase history, or the Large Hadron Collider when it came online, which I don't know if anybody knows. It. I haven't done a whole lot of research on it myself, but they didn't leave it fired up very long. Something happened that absolutely positively scared every loving you know what out of them when they fired it up and they shut it down. And to the best of my knowledge, they haven't fired it back up since. So, you got to think about that too. What scared them. But anyway, uh, that's my daily observation, ranting about the uh, Mandela Effect, the Large Hadron Collider, different timelines, multiverse, yada, 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 this, that, and other thing. But, you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist if you want to. I believe it. Uh, I don't know how I can prove it, but I believe it with my everything in my fiber that we're in a totally different timeline now uh, that wasn't what i was going to do this observation video on but that's what it turned into i was going to do it on the weather about how cold it has freaking been i mean my god it's been ridiculously cold i mean but evidently it wasn't as cold this year as it was last year because we didn't have any pipes freeze and bust in any of our schools this year, thank God. Uh, I got up went in Saturday and Sunday both and done a, a water check on a couple different buildings to make sure that none of them, nothing had froze and busted. Um, and of course we plowed snow last week. Uh, Monday I plowed snow and then uh, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday I had a, a locksmith training course in Lexington that I went to. And then Thursday and Friday I plowed snow. And then I went in Saturday after I done the water checks. I plowed snow with a, a couple buildings that, I, that had got missed uh, by one of our outside contractors. They didn't uh, didn't fully understand where they needed to, what they needed to plow. Yeah, you know whatever. So I went back behind them and cleaned up a few spots they missed. Uh, but uh, now it's, it's all melted off. Everything we plowed is, is dry blacktop now, which is a good thing. Uh, I think it's supposed to start raining tomorrow, but it's supposed to be up in the 50s and 60s by Thursday, I think. But like I said, folks, uh, well, my wife is calling, so I'm going to have to cut this short. And as always, stay safe. God bless. Be talking to you.